The Grozer is a gun with a fantastic time to kill stat and low recoil. It does have one drawback that keeps me from loving it, but I will say that overall this weapon is underrepresented right now in game. Let's take a look. Overall, the Grozer doesn't look too impressive, sitting in 13th place in the overall time to kill summary chart. But once you look at its actual stats, it punches well above what this chart suggests. The Grozer can be compared to the UMP, AK-5C and MG-36. All of these guns share the same damage model and have the same bullets to kill, but the Grozer has an extra 50 rate of fire than all its siblings, meaning it will kill faster than the rest of them. It is less mobile than the 110 move speed UMP, but it has an extra 5 round capacity. It also moves faster than the AK-5C and MG-36. Additionally, it has less recoil than both of these guns, on top of a faster time to kill stat, making them very hard to justify picking. This 50 rate of fire works wonders for its time to kill, and its bragging rights start with an extremely low 185 milliseconds to kill against unarmoured, which is only beaten by the Scorpion and tied with the Foul. Speaking of... Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! The Grozer can go up against the Foul, which has some pretty obscene damage, and not look useless when compared. It does lose some bullets to kill against certain armours, but it also has more magazine capacity, 30 compared to 20. It also moves a lot faster than the Foul, with carbine based move speed and 105 move speed, versus the Foul's battle rifle status. I want to stress how impressive this is. The Foul, in my opinion, is a bit overtuned right now and invalidates a lot of weapons in its current state. But the Grozer is one of the few guns that can be legitimately compared and not look outclassed by comparison. So, that's impressive stuff from the Grozer so far. Use a one time sight of your choice. I use the short suppressor to eliminate muzzle flash entirely. The Grozer cannot equip foregrips or change its magazine. This is a spoiler for its upcoming downside. Can you guess what it is yet? The Grozer's time to kill was very snappy, and with its controllable recoil it can kill at mid-range without losing bullets to recoil drift. Its recoil stats are similar to a suppressed M4 or a flash hider G36C except they are only applied 650 times per minute, meaning you get more time to readjust in between shots, making it very accurate. You always want to full auto this weapon, and it's easy to keep it on target. So far, this weapon review has been nothing but positive. So, it's time for the big negative to make its appearance. It's reload time. The Grozer cannot change from its default magazine option, and the base reload speed isn't the best at 4.3 seconds. Now, this is not a showstopper, because it deals a high 34 damage and has a magazine capacity of 30. This means, theoretically, the Grozer can kill 10 unarmoured enemies in one magazine. Why that's ever gonna happen. The Grozer has a good bullets to kill per magazine stat, so you can go a while without needing to reload, but when you do, it is painful, and it's noticeable when you switch to the Grozer from almost any other weapon. You always want to drop reload this gun, as sitting the full 4.3 second reload is awful. It's almost as long as a 100 round box fed LMG. Thankfully, the drop reload animation is quicker and you always want to do this, and then pick up the magazine during the animation. This reload time means the Grozer is quite map and play account dependent. This can and will get you killed on 128v128 Wakistan Bridge, but in 32v32, on maps which are generally more open, the Grozer's downtime is less punishing and therefore the gun will overall perform better for you. Because the Grozer has a high 34 base damage, it does even better if you're able to land headshots with it, dealing a monstrous 51 damage to the head. 17 bonus damage is nothing to scoff at, and this means the Grozer can put down SMG meta players who run empty helms with 2 shots. You aren't required to go for headshots by any means with this gun, as its body shot time to kill is competitive, but it does become obscenely strong if you are a good shot. Overall, the Grozer is in a good state right now and I would recommend giving this a try. Just remember to work around the reload time. Here's a couple of good killstreaks and also a ninja defuse I got with the Grozer. Thanks for watching.